Hi guys, Pro Card Protagonist here. Today I'm going to review a new clan, Aqua Force, which is claimed to be a legendary clan. I will discuss the pros and cons of this clan and whether Bushiroad made a right choice. I will also show you how the clan works. Apparently, they, are fir they first appeared in Trial Deck 7, um, descendant of the Marine Emperor, and will get more support in BTO8, Blue Storm Amanda. This clan is used by Leon in the anime, and so uh, Aqua Force also have the ability to attack few times in a single turn, similar to Nova Grapplers. Okay, now I'm gonna show you the deck image after BTO8 is released. Okay, so this is the only starter revealed in BTO8. Its ability is similar to the new clans like um, Narukami and Go Paladins. Basically, by counter blasting one. You send this unit to your soul and look at the top 5 cards of your deck. And if there's a great 3 Aqua Force you need, review it and add it to your hand. <laughs> okay, so now I'll go through the triggers. Okay, now this clan is similar to Nova Grapplers, which benefits on using 8 stands. Basically, when BTO it comes out, I'm, I'll be using 8 stands as well. So, 8 stands. 4 draw triggers and four heal triggers. Okay, now here we have four great, four great one vanillas. Um, it's quite, it's a very important booster for this deck as well in order to hit magic numbers and fight against the cross rights. So yeah, yeah of course, four perfect shields. Very important this format. And here we have 7, 7, I mean 4 7k vanguard units that boost um, and increases for each counter blast. Uh, so far, we, this is the only great one that we have here. This is useful to hit magic numbers. Now we have um, a consistent booster, especially for Aqua Force. Its ability is when, when this boosts the vanguard and it's the third or more attack, it boosts for additional 4k, making it a 10k booster. Quite neat. Especially if um, you know that Aqua Force always attack last with the Vanguard. So basically, it is a consistent 10k booster for the deck. I play 2. Okay, now for great 2s, I play 4 vanilla units. And this unit, which is Storm Rider Brazil, Basil, which is a unique to Aqua Force, its ability is. When this, when this unit is the first attacker um, during the turn, after it, it gains 2k attack, and after the attack, it ship, it moves to the back. So basically, it's, it goes like this. Attack, hit, or never hit, you just move back, and the back row can attack. So basically, this is how Aqua Force gets its 4 attack per turn to unlock the limit break abilities. So of course, we have to play 4. And this unit is very good because after it attacks, it shift. So basically, if you if you play like this, the attack you shift here. This guy is protected. So as long as you have this guy, it consistently it will consistently give you four attack. Very neat, very good card. Okay. Let's see, now we have every child that has the eleven k conditional booster. This guy's effect is when when the unit hit when the unit is the third attack. Attacker of the deck, of the clan, sorry, the attacker of the turn, it gains an additional 3k. It's basically, we want more boost, more attackers so that it can independently hit, um, making your opponent guard for at least 5, 5k guard. So I play 3 of them. And now we have 8 great trees. First 4 is Storm Rider Diamantis. This guy's effect is basically the same as, as him. But except it, it is like um, 11,000 instead. It's very important because it can hit units like um, Dragonic Overlord without boost. So basically you make your opponent guard, you attack the rare guard or vanguard, you guard or not, or it doesn't matter, at least you get the hit and make your opponent re reduce his hand size. So yeah, I play 8 of the Storm Rider units, 8 of them. Now we have the boss of the deck. Um, 
say hello to my Dragonic Overlord, the end of the clan. Yeah, basically, but much balanced. We have Blue Storm uh, Dragon Males, Blue Storm Dragon Maelstrom, a very interesting name. And 11k base with a limit break ability of, when this when this unit is the fourth or more attacker, it gains 5k attack, and and it gains an, an another ability. When this unit hits the Vanguard, you can counter blast one to retire one of your u opponent's unit and draw on card. Sounds like a dope without a persona blast in crossfire, isn't it? But it has to hit the Vanguard sadly. Definitely the key card for now, man. Just play four of these bad boys, definitely. Okay, now let's go through the clan mechanics. Basic, basically, you want your field to look like this. Vanguard. Um, this guy. Um, attacker behind it. The best booster of the clan, of course. Sorry. Okay, sorry. And just random 7k or 8k booster, it depends, okay. As long as you can hit the unit. Oh man, the tripod's not standing, sorry. Okay, so basically you want to feel like this. First, of course you want the Maelstrom Dragon to attack last. So, first you attack with your Storm Rider units. You can be this or... The great two. Any of this. That's why I play it in order to consistently go through this to use this effect. So I basically attack with this. After that, after it's attack, you switch. Then you attack with this this guy. Correct? And after that, you have this guy which is eleven K at the third attack. You attack him for the third attack. Eighteen K which is magic number. And finally, go for the finishing blow of a 36,000 attack. But during the early game, your opponent probably won't guard because of his low damage count. Not Probably not worth guarding 26,000, right? Yeah. And then so you just break the limits and get your pluses. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So, okay, let's say your fuel is like this. It doesn't matter. And so... Like this seems to affect the fuel, right? No, doesn't matter. Actually, you could just attack with this. Switch position. Let it stand first. Attack with this Regard for the second attack. And finally, the third attack use this guy for eleven independent 11,000. Yep. So basically, you have to twist your brain a bit. Yeah, that's why I like this clan. It actually makes you think and it has a very cool strategy. Now, now this deck doesn't re really need a lot of boosters. Very good clan. Okay, so to conclude this video, I think Bushio has made a great decision of making this clan because it's, after I play tested it, I think it's really very fun. And it's awesome, man. It also gives me a break when playing my Overlord the end deck. And I have high hopes for this clan. Thank for, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Enjoy your day. Bye.